I was planning on having another guest host provide their top 10 book recommendations for the month of June. However, due to some unforeseen circumstances, my friend and colleague, John Harrison, was not able to participate with this month's episode. And since I normally do the last episode myself, I just figured, you know what, I'll, what the heck, I'll split the list that I had for July in half and provide half of it this month and the next half in July. With that said, here are the bottom five of my top ten audiobook picks for season six. Starting with number ten, What If by Randall Monroe, narrated by Will Wheaton. This is a fun, quirky book that answers incredibly absurd questions with actual science. Monroe's background as a NASA physicist and his sense of humor that he applies in his webcomic get applied in responses that are equal parts eye-opening, informative, and hilarious. Number nine is Darkness Visible by Arvind, Ethan, David, and narrated by Christian McKay as Winston Churchill and Miranda Richardson as Lady Vivian. The premise focuses on England during the height of the London Blitz as P.M. Churchill makes a deal with demonic forces to aid his country in fighting back German forces. I loved how this audiobook has the vibe of an early 20th century radio drama. At number 8, Expeditionary Force Book 1, Columbus Day by Craig Allenson, narrated by R.C. Bray. This is an epic military sci-fi piece focused on humanity going to war against a rodent-like alien species called the Ruhar, who invade in a bid to gain control of a relatively nearby stable wormhole. Bray's performance, especially in playing up the various characters and their interesting personalities, is one of the highlights. My personal favorite character in this book is a millennia-old sentient AI dubbed Skippy. His dialogue is some of the best written banter that I've ever encountered in a book. The seventh entry on my list is Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, narrated by Jeffrey Howard. While Lewis was not a trained theologian, his stance in describing and breaking down the Christian faith is incredibly powerful stuff. His train of thought appeals to sound logic as he speaks, his apologetics to those listening or reading who might be non-believers. If your only experience with Lewis is his Narnia series, I highly recommend giving this book a read. Number six is Yamada Monogatari, Demon Hunter by Richard Parks, narrated by Brian Nishi. Set against the backdrop of feudal Japan prior to the European contact, Lord Yamada wanders the countryside, uh, solving cases involving kitsune, yokai, and ogres in service to those asking for his aid. He's less of a hunter than he is a detective, and the stories, while seemingly done in vignette, are threaded in a way that can be read separately but connect together with a beautiful symmetry. Now, as I've said, these are just the first five, or better put, the bottom five of my list for this season. I have the top five coming up next month in July. Now, if you're interested in picking up copies of any of these titles, my recommended platform is Audible. Now, I, I want to make sure to say that I am not in any way sponsored by Audible. Uh, they are just the platform that I prefer to use when I'm listening to my audiobook selections. But if you are interested in these titles, you'll find the ISBN numbers for all these books down in the video description. 